before we get into the design of a specific searching algorithm we need to consider the criteria that might be used to choose among them we can evaluate an algorithm performance in four ways so what it is saying that before choosing the searching algorithm we have different searching algorithm as i told you before choosing the searching algorithm which particular criteria that we have to see means uh, the searching algorithm should have some performance criteria and based on that performance criteria we'll choose the searching algorithm that which search algorithm will give me the best solution in related to my problem right so for that there are four matrices or you can say performance measures the first one is the completeness it is the algorithm generated uh, a guarantee to find a solution when there is one completeness completeness means your algorithm should return the solution your algorithm should return the solution if the solution exists into the state space diagram then it is called completeness means your algorithm is completeness means your algorithm has the performance matrix completeness and we'll just check it yes this is completeness now the next one is optimality does the strategy find the optimal solution see the solutions are many right from here if i want to go to let's say the the railway station so i have many path i have many ways i have many vehicle right so which particular vehicle i'll choose and which particular way i choose so that i'll reach the solution in an optimal way that is called optimality whether my algorithm is optimal so how will find my uh, my uh, algorithm is optimal or not if it is giving me the best solution then only i can say that that my algorithm is optimal okay so i should get the best solution time complexity how long does it take to find a solution that is called time complexity you might have learned the in the algorithm that we have different time complexities of different algorithms so we'll choose those algorithm which has least time complexity now the space complexity how much memory is needed to perform the search there are different searching algorithm which required so many memories so if we were making the robots we will make sure that that robot will have to uh, execute the code uh, which is not heavy code huh? and we doesn't have to refer different data or the more number of data so your algorithm should be in such a way uh, the data that we have to refer will be small means in the number it should be small and to store those data i required less memory so when we have less data uh, so what will happen is uh, to refer the solution we have to prefer those data right all the time we have to see the frontier node all the time we have to see the explored node so the thing is that to to uh, wasting the time on comparing all those stored data uh, will be increasing that time right so what we want we don't want those type of those type of uh, algorithm which is requiring more space complexity we require less space complexity okay so the time complexity should be less the space complexity should be less optimality should be increased i should get the best solution completeness should be there there should be completeness means if there is a solution then solution you will get that is the completeness in artificial intelligence the graph is often represented implicitly by the initial state action and transition model and is frequently infinite now it is saying that uh, the graph representation will use in uh, to finding the solution and we have the initial state is a root node from where we will start the actions 
we have different actions which is defined and the transition model which is defined so ultimately the problem that we have seen how we can define the problem it is is there here and we'll use the graph to represent the problem if these reason uh, if for these reason complexity is expressed in terms of three quantities so the first one is the branching factor or maximum number of successor of any node see when we are talking about graph when we are talking about graph in the graph structure what we have so we have branching factor branching factor means the maximum number of successor of a node so what is the maximum number of successor of a node so for this the successor is 3 for this successor is 0 for this successor is 2 for this successor is 0 what is the maximum number of successor is 3 so 3 is my branching factor is my branching factor and it is denoted as b it is denoted as b d d is the depth of the shallowed goal shallowed goal means the goal which we have find out first the depth of that let's say my goal is maybe this is my goal this is my goal so this particular goal i find out here right in the depth of 1 depth of 1 and this particular solution i find with the depth of 2 right so which particular depth i'll use for my complexity so i have to choose the shallowed one shallowed one means which we have find earlier or which is there in the less depth the number of a step along the path from the root along the path from the root so what is a path from the root here is 1 and here it is 2 m the maximum length of any path in the state m is denoted as maximum length of any path in the state in the state space is called maximum length of any path any path not the solution it is talking about any path In the state is denoted as m. So the time complexity or the complexity will be choose a, will be denoted with b. B is the branching factor. D is the depth of finding the shallow sol solution, solution or shallow goal to reach the shallow goal, and m is the maximum length of any path in the state space diagram. time is often measured in terms of the number of node generated during the search okay so time complexity we'll see that how many nodes we have generated during the search that is in terms of the time complexity so sorry time is measured the space in terms of maximum number of node is stored into the memory so time is all, all about the number of node generated and a space is all about the maximum number of node is stored in the memory so how many number of node we are storing uh, at a particular time what is the maximum memory mag, maximum node we are storing during the algorithm that particular maximum number of node are my space complexity or the space that we have taken okay so this is the background or the 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 concepts related to the algorithm that how what are the thing that we'll see into the algorithm how it is 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 look like and what are the different uh, ways how we can represent okay so for the complexities we'll use branching factor or we'll use depth or we'll use both 